Hey kids, hey mom. In this video I take a close look at the Human Pedals Amp Driver pedal. Early this year I got an email from a company called Human Pedals from Northern Ireland and they were asking if I would be interested in trying out their new pedal, the Amp Driver. And I did what I always do when a positive opportunity arises in my life. I go into full on panic mode, overthink everything and look for a way out before it's even started. So I messaged them back telling them that yes yeah, sounds cool but I usually do kind of comparative tests or semi-scientific videos and I wouldn't really know how to place this thing. And to their credit they replied in a very cool way saying they know what I do and it's fine and they'll send me the pedal and if I don't like it I can just send it back. And it was very hard to argue with that and I'm happy I didn't because the pedal is kind of cool. I imagine it's kind of hard to stand out in today's overdrive pedal market because there are just so many. There are countless different pedals with cool graphics but I think human pedals managed to stand out. It's a very cool pedal. For one thing, we have an extra dial compared to a regular Tube Screamer labeled Presence here. But what really makes this pedal stand out are the toggle switches below the dials here. We have pre-gain, focus, tight and post-gain. Pre and post-gain switch gain stages into the signal path that emulate the sound and feel of tubes. And I'm going to... I'm feeling risky today. I'm going to speculate that that circuit is built around JFET somehow. Sounds good. You're going to find out later. And the focus and tight switches uh, filter kind of frequencies. They make the sound tighter, duh. And um, tight only works when focus is engaged, so it's kind of filtering in sequence, I guess. In the interest of transparency, I'm not being paid for this video, I'm not receiving any money, but I recently emailed Human Pedals asking when they needed the pedal back, because I've been sitting on it for at least two months. To which they replied, I can hang on to it, but they asked me not to sell it on. So I don't consider this my property but I'm going to use it. Joke's on you, human pedals. I would have bought this. Um, so you can consider this somewhat sponsored. I'm definitely not unbiased anymore. So what I plan to do with this is test this pedal out with some of my favorite amps that, in my opinion, absolutely need an overdrive pedal to sound good for high gain sounds. And we're going to start off with the Laney VH100R. And the tone shaping and frequency shifting options here really make me interested in finding out how it works with my Marshall JCN2000 DSL100 with the deep switch engaged. It gets a little boomy, so so I'm thinking this pedal will do well with it. And on one or two amps, I might compare it to a regular Tube Screamer. The only problem is there, I don't own a regular Tube Screamer. I don't have an Ibanez or a Maxon Tube Screamer anymore. The only thing that comes close to it is this pedal I built from a kid a few years ago. It's a Screamer from Das Musikding, which is a build-your-own pedal outfit based in Germany. I'm not sure if I built this like an OD808 or TS9 anymore. It's been too long. I'm not sure if it makes a difference. Tomato, tomato. The only thing that differs to a regular Tube Screamer is I built this with asymmetrical clipping instead of symmetrical clipping, but I don't think that makes a difference for the sake of this demonstration. So, yeah, I've talked enough. Let's get into it. Alright guys, as the first amp I have my Laney VH100R set up in front of me, right next to the camera on top of it is the Human Pedals amp driver, and in front of me here is my Tube Screamer clone that we're just going to use a bit as reference tone to start off with. It's a little cramped here, that's why things are all over the place, bear with me. I've got the VH100R set up on the high gain channel with the additional drive on, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Now there's plenty of gain, but it's not really tight. You wouldn't use that for anything modern metal sounding. I never use this amp without a boost. And I'm gonna engage my Tube Screamer clone here. Drive is at zero, tone is at maybe between one and two o'clock, and volume is quite high, I'd say between two and three o'clock. Thank you. 
and that makes the amp far more usable for modern high gain tones. Let's switch over to the amp driver though. I've got everything at noon except for drive that's on zero and I've got the switches below off for the moment. Let's see what the amp driver can do without them first. Now in those settings it doesn't do an awful lot, but let's see what happens if we switch in the post gain. And that's noticeably fatter already, there's a lot more output. Uh, let's listen to the Tube Screamer as a comparison. It seems to me there's a lot more output coming out of the amp driver now as opposed to the Tube Screamer, but the low end is kind of mushy, it's uncontrolled, and that's where this focus switch comes in. We can tighten up the amp driver even more when we switch in the tight switch here, which only works when the focus is on, so I guess it's in series with each other. When those switches are engaged, I perceive the output to be at lower. I guess it's filtering out frequencies before that gain stage, so they'll be amplified less and thus will have less output. So let's add some more volume. Tube Screamer. Now the amp driver sounds much tighter to me. I much prefer the sound of the amp driver. Let's add in the pre-gain as well. A bit much that way, let's reduce the output. With these switches and the dials, the amp driver is so versatile, you can just really tweak the nuances. For example, we can take the post gain out and crank the volume again instead. Similar gain levels as with the post gain, but there's a slightly different flavor. It could be suggestion, but I prefer the post gain over the pre-gain. If you want, you can add a touch of drive to.
like this pedal a lot and the switches and knobs really allow you to fine tune the gain structure and the EQ that the amp is punched in the face with. And with that in mind, I'm very curious to try this out with a particular amp of mine. The Marshall JCM2000 DSL100, the original DSL, that still has a D button rather than a resonance knob, they fixed that on the later amps, that gives it a lot of low end, but it's a bit too much. Like without the button engaged, it's a bit thin, and with the button engaged, it's a bit tubby. And I think this boost, or this pedal as a boost might work very well with that amp. And I'm gonna just change this setup real quick. I'll be back in a sec. All right, folks, I'm set up with my Marshall JCM2000 DSL100. I've got it on the ultra gain channel on lead two voice and with the gain at about two o'clock. So pretty much as high gain as this amp will go. Uh, deep switch is in and it sounds a bit like this. There's a lot of gain, and you can hear the low end really thuds out. It's big and it's just not nice. It's not modern sounding anyway. I'm gonna see how well I can shape this with the amp driver. I'm not gonna compare it to the tube scream anymore. I think we've pretty much established that the amp driver is a lot more powerful than a regular tube screamer, so we're done with that for the moment. So. Okay, it's still pretty thick sounding, so let's kick in the focus. Okay, oddly enough, I seem to like this most without any of the gain stages switched and just the focus on volume max, just a tiny bit of drive, tone slightly under noon, presence slightly above noon. <laughs> Let's move on to the next amp. Next up is another one of my favorites that I always like to play with a boost, and that is the Diesel VH4. And I've said over the last few years that the Diesel Habit is my favorite amp, favorite Diesel anyway. It's the GOAT in my opinion, but the VH4 has been giving it a good run for its money lately. 
it is a love that's been growing over time. It's There's just something special about the feel about that. And it's a polarizing amp. People either love it or they hate it. And I think that is largely because there's a bit of a misconception about the amp. There's this, there is this mystique about this amp. It has the reputation of being a modern metal machine. And it really isn't. It's it's an old amp design. It came out in 1994, but the base design, the core design, goes back all the way to 1992. So one really has to put that into context. I love how it sounds. Let's check out how the legendary Channel 3 sounds without a boost. <laughs> Sounds good to me, it has a lot of gain. There's this huge wall of sound, but it feels kind of slow. It doesn't feel modern. I, I wouldn't be able to use this for anything modern. So it's an amp I really like to play with a boost. Let's see what the amp driver can do through a digital VH4. Let's turn it on. Let's up the volume. And that's an improvement already. Let's kick in post -game. Bit tubby that way, let's give it some force. My tape is failing me. Let's try pre-gain instead of post-gain. It's less noisy. I like that. That's what I mean with a good boost in front, the diesel VH4 really comes aloud. This is so much fun to play. <laughs> Let's move on to the next amp, which is going to be a PV5150. Alright, gotta have a 5150 in this, right? So, this is how the amp sounds on the lead channel without a boost. Plenty of gain, but a little bit saggy in the low end. Switch on the amp driver, still on the settings I used for the VH4. Much better. Let's switch those tight switches out. Good switch off too. Okay, I want at least the focus switch. It's nice and tight. Let's click in post gain. Mm -hmm. 
generally I seem to leave the tone and the present settings the way they are. I kind of like the EQ that imparts. I really just like playing with the switches for the different amps. That's really where, where the nuances come into play, if you ask me, so... Let's play some. <laughs> Having a tough time deciding which of the gains I prefer on the PV, if it's the pre-gain or the post-gain. The differences are really small, but I can't stop tinkering. <laughs> I wonder what the amp driver can do to a lower gain channel. Let's switch it off and move to the rhythm channel. Let's say our amp can only go this high in gain. Let's see what the amp driver can do with that. Sick. That's a lot of fun. I, <laughs> I think that sounds good. I just noticed it says organic overdrive preamp on that. I haven't tried this out, just going straight into the power amp. Bear with me while I dig out my KSR. 
All right, I've got the pedal going straight into the KSR PA50 power amp. Same settings as before. So all the switches on, see how that sounds. <laughs> Mild crunchy, 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 yeah, crunch tone. Without the focus and tight switch, it's a bit loose. Let's kick in focus. Let's give it some drive. Full up and out a bit. I'm going off script here. I'm just shooting the shit. Let's see. Let's see if I can boost the um, the amp driver with uh, the tube screamer from earlier on. Okay, I've got the tube screamer clicked. <laughs> It's fun, but there's nothing I'd use. Yes, yeah, nothing I'd use that way. But still, cool to know that you could use it as a yeah, rock preamp. <laughs> okay, let's wrap this up. All right, that concludes my little demo of the. Human Pedals Amp Driver. I think it's a great pedal. I love how versatile it is. It's a tweaker's dream with all these mini switches, clicking and clacking them out. Um, very adaptable to whatever amp you want to boost with it. And I've spoken a bit to the guy behind Human Pedals. He seems like a very knowledgeable guy for one. Uh, we nerd out a bit. And he seems like a very nice guy as well. I think Human Pedals is a fairly new company. They're just starting up. I know they have a few more pedals in the pipeline, so Check them out if you're interested. I'll uh, link their webpage down in the description below. And yeah, do check them out. This video, once again, was an experiment for me. I hope you liked it. I had, I had fun. I'm just trying different things out here. And yeah, stay tuned. I've got lots more amp and lots more speaker videos coming out soon. And I hope to see you again. That's all I've got for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.